We started building this Curragh on St. David's Day, but that wasn't the start of it. There's somewhere there's headed, Paul Headed, because you told me that traditionally there used to go sand netting there, and that we ought to find out more about what people did here before. So, and then there's somebody called Emma. Now, Emma works in the National Park and, and said, Cliff, we, we've got a bit of money we need to do something with. So, um, have you got any good ideas? So I thought, Edith had a good idea. And we've got the net and we've done all that. So, it was the best bit of funding I've done because she was incredibly helpful. The National Park were also very, very helpful. We got the money. We had um, enough to not just make and build this one, but also to restore this one. So we've got the ancient and the modern. Um, um, because this is ancient, we can't put a name on it because it's going to be in, part of the time in the Iron Age fort and Cassus Henfries. But its its name is non, and it's non because it was started. The construction was started on St David's Day, and and therefore it seemed an auspicious date and an auspicious name. And this is the sort of craft that St. David would have known. He would have sailed in this. It would have been exactly the same. There's, there's hemp and twine. There's hemp about there. There's the, the withies growing around here. The, the hazel, the cowhide. All things that would have been there 4,000 years ago. But certainly 2,000 years ago. Or 1,000 years ago in St. David. Yolo. Yeah. Oh, right. Very catchy. I'm giving you the good one. Yeah. <laughs> Only because it's so embarrassing for me trying to get it. I'm hoping these will slide better. So, we need a few volts. I'm the foreman. I just shout. <laughs> That's the artist. <laughs> Oh, you get the hard job, Fishing up there, I'll be very surprised. Thank <laughs> you. 